right, this is a a game that I got from a colleague of mine. Um, pretty pretty simple uh, frisbee um, tossing game. We call this a frisbee dot shooting. Um, and this is the way we set up the gym. So each one of these uh, different color triangles represents a cone with um, a frisbee with a foam frisbee by the cone that uh, represents or looks like the color of the cone. So obviously if you and it's up to you on how you want to set it up. It can be different colors. It can be the same color. It's whatever works best for you. So I have white a uh, white cone here with a white fris uh, foam frisbee, green cone with a green frisbee. Um, I just find that having certain colors and things like that helps the uh, students know whose is whose and uh, it lessens arguing or uh, disruptions and things like that. So uh, on the signal, what it is, and we're going to use uh, these two white stars over here as the students. On the signal, the first person in their line would have to go grab their frisbee and then they have to run with their frisbee in hand and they have to go stand on a dot. So obviously uh, they would have their blue frisbee in their hand and they have to stand on a dot. Now these dots here around the uh, purple ring here are poly spots, different poly spots and different colors that are uh, randomly spread around the ring. Now this purple ring here is a hula hoop. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, and I have the hula hoop uh, duct tape to the floor so it doesn't move. But their job is to try and stand it while standing on the poly spot is to toss their frisbee into the hula hoop. So this student here that I'm moving here, this student would toss their frisbee into the hula hoop. So if it landed in the hula hoop, then uh, the student would pick up their poly spot. Now, very, very important is that I tell the students that they must pick up their poly spot first before they go retrieve their frisbee. Otherwise, other students would see, would assume that that dot is able for them. So I tell them to pick it up first so the student would pick up their frisbee, I mean their dot, excuse me, their poly spot, then go and get their frisbee. So if you would make it, they would go get their frisbee, their dot would return, they would return their dot to the end of their cone. This student here would then retrieve the their frisbee and give it to the next student in line. And then as they do that, they would return to the end of the line. And then this student with, with their frisbee would go and stand on maybe this green uh, poly spot with their blue frisbee and then try and toss it into the uh, hula hoop. Now, um, if they miss, okay, like uh, if they only go like half on or they miss entirely, then obviously that student would not pick up that poly spot. They would go return back to their team. They would go back and then obviously the next person would go again and you uh, keep going until all the poly spots are gone and then at the end you count to see how many students uh, uh, let me on how many different uh, poly spots they have and then keep going and it's just a great game that I find works for a large number of students in your class and it keeps them going and so we call this uh, frisbee dot shooting um, you or you could call it uh, frisbee dot throw um, yeah, and that's um, it for this uh, game. Uh, more uh, information will be on the blog. Uh, I do this with uh, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade students.